Well, hey guys, it's been a week since I did my installation on my fourth gen Mazda 3. Everything's going great. Um, there were a couple issues with my installation um, just due to a couple mistakes they made in the kit. And also being a fourth gen with the 2.5, they didn't really get the test fit that on this car. So if you do have the, the 2.5 fourth gen, which pretty much everyone in the U.S. does, um, there are a couple 2.0s. The, you will have to make some modification. The kit won't be a complete bolt-on unless you do this modification. This is only pertaining to my fourth gen, guys. So on, and, and it's mainly the guys in the U.S., um, because in China, most of the, the new fourth gen T3s, they have the 2.0 motors, and we have the 2.5. So they haven't dealt with a lot of our motors. But um, there is a bracket on the alternator that has to be grinded off. Um, in order to seat the the supercharger properly because we didn't have it, you know, we kept trying to put the supercharger on, but it wouldn't seat flush and the, the bottom left corner was staying propped open. And, you know, we ended up turning over the supercharger and seeing the paint um, scratched off. And then so we found out that the, the little bracket, the middle bracket was stopping us from putting the supercharger on. So we had to grind that off. Actually, we just cut it off with a, you know, a tool and and if you don't have this tool i hope you have a friend that has one because i mean it's solid metal so you need to be able to get this bracket off somehow um but once we got that bracket off uh the supercharger just slipped right on other than that the only problem i had was they sent me the wrong belt in my kit and i verified with the other fortune guys they all got the 15 35 millimeter belt and they sent me a 1480 which was a blessing and a curse at the same time because they sent me the 1480 me and my friend kept trying to force it on and we ended up breaking our belt tensioner and we broke it on the 4th of July so we couldn't even get another belt tensioner so I had to wait till the next day so I was going to try to have the car together in that same day but I couldn't do it because it was 4th of July so I had to wait till the next day um, and bought a new belt tensioner and then realized you know there's no way this belt is too short so like, like I said I verified with the other guys I went to the store and bought another belt and it went on just fine but had I not had the wrong belt, I would have never broke my belt tensioner. Um, but I'm kind of glad I did because I started to hear squealing and my car's under 40,000 miles. So I was like, what could possibly be the issue? And a lot of people say belt tensioners go out, but I didn't want to change it because the car was still low miles. But, you know, now that I have a brand new one, it gives me that peace of mind that it won't go out while I have the supercharger on. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm trying to keep this short because um, guys want me to keep the video under 20 minutes. What I'm going to do is just kind of show you the main parts um, of the installation that you'll probably want to know how to do. Um, most people already seen, you know, the two VT videos. Uh, I guess the best thing I could do is like kind of show you the part that every, scares everybody, which is taking the belt on and off. And I had to do it so many times because we had the, a belt that was too short that I actually, once I got the right size belt, I can take it on and off within 10 minutes from start to finish. So guys, we're going to... Um, yeah, I'm going to show you some clips from the installation and then post some the, the size tools you'll need to get this installation done. Because I think that's the most important part, knowing what tools you need before you get started on it. So you don't have to go looking for stuff later on. So after that, um, you know, my next video, I'll do like some drive-bys and stuff like that for you guys. Um, and I am running... Um, a my na tune which was from ov and i'm still waiting for them to finish their vf software so i can get the new tune but as of right now i have no fault codes and the cars went running perfectly fine so guys uh let's get to it guys, as you can see if i can get a good video get a valves are not dirty honestly Forty thousand miles guys it's only been a few hours like three and a half hours worth of work and we're almost done i had to go to the store we had to get some lines i'm doing a custom oil catch can so here's what i have to do i have to go buy a an adapter for a 3 8 inch and stick it in here because i bought um a 3 8 inch um hoses that goes to my catch can so i'm just gonna use the, the stock pipe location you know and i'm gonna you gotta add clamps because you're gonna boost All right this is my little modified attachment for my well, cash can. All I did was add a 3 8 adapter with a thread. Um, I got that at like O'Reilly's. And so this is going to attach to my 3 8 um, catch can lines because 
these lines are like this one's like a half inch and this one's like i don't know even more than a half inch whatever that's off of there but i used a cheap um you know ebay universal one and it cost 20 bucks and my cape or my lines cost 20 and then i had to buy these little adapters for like four bucks so 50 bucks for my kit you know pretty cheap and it's gonna work so me and andrew we were out here trying to figure out a way uh, yep how to put on the belt um you know the new belt and the uh the mount without taking off the wheel but there's no way to do it with this limited space I, there probably is a way but we don't have the special tools for it so we're gonna go do what everyone else did and we're gonna go ahead and take off the wheel and go through the wheel well to get to the uh to the belt on a crank but so now we're gonna just go ahead and take that off i'm gonna record this for you guys so you can kind of see what's going on Guys, the belt's off. Andrew just had to pull down on it. On uh, he had to pull down on that uh, that 17 millimeter. And when he pulled down on it, I just came from this end of the belt and I yanked it off as he was doing it. I know I couldn't get a good video, guys, because it took both our hands. But I will send you the instructional video that's helped us do it. The most difficult part of the install is putting in the uh, the lever for the pulley. So we had to double team it. Right now. He's tightening up the bottom. Um, so it goes around the AC compressor with an alternator. Um, and there to get to clear to get the clearance to put this nut down here, there was a little screw that was on the uh, AC the AC compressor. compressor that I had to remove because if you don't remove this little, there's a little you'll see it as a little just a, a black screw with the mouth and it does nothing um but in order to get this to be flush to get this to turn up flush you have to remove it or it'll sit on top of it and it won't sit flush but that was pretty much it just getting this flush down here um for the pulley for the supercharger and like i said there was a little right where that my hands at they had a little screwed in black mount that you had to remove once you remove this, this goes straight in here and you just, you know, tighten down the two Allens around it. Pretty easy, guys. I'm getting ready to put right the belt on. But this is the easiest way to uh, tighten this assembly down is to go through the front of the car. And you can't use an extension. You need a short ratchet extension to tighten this down. Don't tighten the top one completely down until you got this bottom one tightened up all the way. And then you can go back to the top and finish tightening it, get, tightening it down. Right now, I'm trying to ratchet it. Hold on. We were having a little bit of, can you turn this over real quick so I can, I can show them? So we couldn't get it to mount straight up and then we saw that there was paint removed here which means it's rubbing on something, right? Um, the guys over there they never dealt with this car with the uh, cylinder deactivation for the fourth gen. And apparently, this is our problem right here. This little notch on alternator. So luckily, buddy Andrew, He's gonna take care of that. He's gonna cut it right off. And then this should be able to fit right on there. We almost gave up on it. We're about to put it back to stock, but I don't think it's gonna happen now. All right, there you guys go. We cut it off. That was it. We're about to get the supercharger installed. It was just all it took for it to go flush. So don't give up guys right away. Sometimes you get tired, you got to reassess. All we needed was a nap. The belt is situated. So it goes from the crank, right, um, underneath your belt tensioner. Then it's going to go uh, from under your belt tensioner, because the back sides are against the belt tensioner. It's going to wrap around up around the alternator that's up here. And then it's going to go around the alternator back down. And underneath your... Um, idler pulley which is kind of like a belt tensioner but it's stationary so the, your backside of your belt's going to be resting on there and then that's going to go up right um and around the supercharger back around your um com ac compressor so that'll be it so to wrap around here um and like i said it'll go up 
as you can see, it goes up to the supercharger up top and then wraps back around here. And then that's it, guys. Right, guys. It's like the perfect timing. It just started raining. There's lightning. Hopefully, we won't get struck by lightning, but we're going to see if it starts up. We got to let it cycle a couple times. is working add a little bit more coolant in here guys some rainwater and some natural uh, alkaline water <laughs> so I think it's uh, I think it's almost there hold on guys So I just start the coolant starts flowing as soon as I turn it on. I think that's enough coolant. It's still bubbling and stuff. But uh I think that's that's pretty much full. I don't know, I'm gonna leave it open. Alright, let's try to fire it up guys. Hopefully we did it right. If not, fuck it. Put some coolant and then add some more, put the wheel back on and we can go down the block. 